to another episode with me, Bellfire, and today we're back in Fortress Craft Evolved, and unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I have, I'll say this, quote unquote, finished the game. I say quote unquote because I don't think there's an official ending for the game, e period. Which is sad because this is probably one of my more favorite games, or one of the games I like like to play the most, but just simply because I love the whole, I'll say, Minecraft-like aspect, but also I love the high-tech aspect of Space Engineers, if you could say that. So what I'm thinking is, I guess I'll just simply go from where we started to basically where we entered, ended, basically a tour of the base. And I think I'll call this Friday special. And yes, I know it's coming out a little bit late. I am sorry about that. I tried my best to get this one out on time. I am... Well, as you can tell, I couldn't, sadly. So, we, as most of you know, we started here with this very, with the central power hub. Very first thing we ever got. Then, the next thing we got was just, I think... The first two veins we ever got was right here, a tin vein, yeah, all the way down here was a massive, or a decent sized tin vein. Then, hmm, I'm trying to think what else there was. Then the copper vein, I think, I don't remember the specifics exactly. So anyway, we started with this right here, barely having enough power to run a basic uh, ore smeltery, or whatever it's called, ore smelter. Barely having enough power to smelt that. Then we progressed to getting two of them. Well, no, we progressed progress to getting uh, I'm trying to think sorry we progress to uh, it's late if you all can't tell while I'm recording this so I am sorry but yeah it's a little bit late so anyway we Slowly but steadily changed down here from the base. <clears throat> well, I forgot when this was exactly. But it wasn't all that long ago where I decided to say, hey. Well, it was a pretty decent time ago. Before I said, hey, why don't I go ahead and set up this sort set of automation? Because that's probably one of the things this game does like no other is automation so as soon as I started automating I think that's when the base really began to take off I so I'm I'm sorry if I'm I'm I know I'm messing everything up I can tell I am slightly tired Um, okay, okay, sorry, just trying to remember exactly how it all went. As soon as I got enough, um, materials to make a way directly from the surface all the way down there, I did. And that item, or items, was the... lifts 
Tier 1 vertically extending central piston lift. That was the very first thing, or very first large thing, I ever built. And as we slowly get down, well, rather quickly. Down here, I tr went to find all manners of ore from titanium to gold to nickel and even to biomass and crystal a little bit further up. Then we went even further down. I'm going to have to teleport because I don't remember how I got further down. And the further down we got, we went. Uh, I will say to. We slowly went and hit the to toxic caverns. And we kept going directly down into the magma caverns. And this is the lowest we have we've been in the world. I I believe. Okay. So As soon as I could, I started automating everything for this area. From fuel production to uh, production of this. There was no limit on what I automated. Which I, I did like. But... The most challenging bit about all of that was taking care of all of the cryoplasm spawners. And yes, there is a lot of cryoplasm just out there, but it can't do me any harm now, thankfully. And then, um, I'm try try trying to remember from day one to whatever day it is now, the exact progression, but I'm seeming to have a little bit of trouble. So you know what? I'm just, I'm getting up and just doing a simple tour. So, okay. This, I don't know if I set this up on camera, but this is a basic quarry that has gotten a pretty decent way into the ground the only problem is it absolutely absor it um tears the ground apart quickly And I'm not kidding when I say that. It rips him to the ground very, very quick. When it has storage space, that is. Uh, what's going on? Oh, let me guess. There's absolutely no room for this stuff, right? Am I right? Yep. Okay. Well, continuing on the tr tour, because that's really no longer important. This is the ore storage se storage section I had have for the quarry. It's done me a lot of good. Um, then there's the defensive ring, which I've slightly cannibalized for some parts. Not all of them, though. Yeah, this thing has done a very large amount of good. 
it is slightly shocking how much good it has done me. But I'm very thankful I decided to make it. Decided to make it because it saved me in a pinch or two. Then, of course, there's this orbital railgun. Can't forget about it. Can't forget about it. Because it's probably the most pain in the butt thing I've ever had to make. But, um, then over here is obviously all of my cargo lifts. Well, almost all of them. From crystal to titanium, uh, nickel, gold, molybdenum, and chromium. All of these are being brought from, well, the, around the, uh, deep caverns, I think it's called. Then, of course, we have my lar very large automation area. Why am I? Eh. Well, this is, unfortunately, the very last episode. Just simply because I've done basically everything there is to do. Well, I say that with a grain of salt because... There's a lot more I could do in this world t for, like, streamlining certain processes and so on and so forth, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, well, I, I will say one thing. If you don't want to make your life very painful, don't be afraid to expand. I'll say that right now. Do not be afraid to expand. That's what that I am comfortable to say. That's what's caused me at least ninety percent of my pain easily. Because I was like, oh no! I honestly think it was just the fact of me having to. Uh, clear out a massive area and really I wanted to try and stay centralized which I think I did very well I wanted to stay very close to the CPH <clears throat> hmm what else what else um but, yeah, I honestly just, overall, had tons of fun recording this series. And I, I'm not signing off just yet. And I will say, I, well, I, well, yeah, I will say, I hope you all had just as much fun as I did while I was recording it. Yes, it does have its moments of being a complete pain in the butt. I will say that right now. It has its moments, but as soon as they pass, the fun, st fun starts to come back if you got, if you, if, if you like automating and streamlining and things like that. So... For those of you who don't know, this is the spider bot recharge and docking bay. Uh, almost forgot. Speaking of which, where? There he is. This is the spider bot. Probably the most noticeable thing in my entire world. I. At, yeah, I'd say that. Most easily noticed. There we 
there we go largest but also I will say the most powerful defense piece I have also it doesn't su well it does suck up energy but not as much as other items so then over here I have things like um, coal coal okay coal um, lithium iron and then this entire line which I actually had a really good amount of fun making running all the way over to here or my resin farm I will say making this was fun because I had to figure out how to do all of it on my own well I had to do that with everything but I honestly prefer looking up how to do it rather than um, wait did I say rather looking it up no I rather doing it myself and having the knowledge of how to do it again and again instead of me having to just constantly looking it up over and over and if I do another series of this, what happened here? What? How did... How did this happen? What? I'm very confused. But, oh well. Um, then the next thing would have to be down in the cold caverns. So let's head, head down. Well, of course, our initial crash site, which I still haven't decided to dig out yet. And I'm making my, making space in my inventory for something I want to do that is kind of insane. I want to take some chargeable explosives and do something a little bit stupid. I want to charge them all up as high as I can, as high as my patience will allow. And I just want to set them off. And this one should take almost no no time to charge. I mean, it's already a tier three. Oh, I think I see what determines its tier. Let me just make a bunch of tier four explosives. Then I'm just going to go blow stuff up. So, okay. If I could change anything that I did in this series, it would be the fact that I did not expand at all in the slightest. That's why it would change. Without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, that's exactly why it would change. Just simply because working in a, such a small area, you can see what happened. I got absolutely cramped and I really had no, nothing I could really do about it. 
But that is my fault, but I really wish I figured it out before. But it's honestly having expanded a little bit deeper. I will say it it definitely helps if you aren't afraid to make a little bit of a mess of your entire production lines or make them the transport take a little bit longer but I will say it is worth it to expand And oh my lord, there is so much glow here. Where would be an appropriate place to set this off? I don't... I honestly don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, I can't think of anywhere I would want to put this or blow these up. This is going to be such a big bang. I'll leave that last one to charge. So first, I just want to double check the explosive power on a tier 5. 4. There we go. Okay, so pretty big, pretty big. Okay, well. Okay, so. Back, 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 back. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I think I crashed the game. Oh no. Well, if I'm going to recommend you got you all don't do something, don't set off four tier four, four explosives all at the same time. Oh boy, I'm get, just gonna walk away. Oh dear. Yeah, I very much broke the game. Oh dear. Um. Well. Um. I guess I could try breaking a few of them, seeing if that will help. That'll help. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Please do not crash. I did want to end the episode off with a bang. And on 
honestly, this may have to be a slightly shorter Friday special. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart the game, so... Yep. Okay, well... Thankfully, it doesn't take long for me to reboot the game. Yeah, very much so, thankfully. If it happens again, I may just possibly laugh. Mm. Okay. Well, let's head back down there. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I have no chargeable explosives in my inventory. I'll just set off three. That seems a lot better. I did it again. I did it again. Oh. The floor, floor is broken. Oh boy. Well then. Okay, yep. Second game crash in the course of a couple seconds. Well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, restarting it one more time. There we go. Um. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything crazy because if I do, I'm going to regret it, except for this. Oh, I feared that would happen. Well, good thing I tested it. Okay, let me go grab the last few I need to fix that. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. I know this is a shorter episode than normal, but I need to get back on a better sleep schedule. Because mine is not good right now. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye, guys.